So this morning we woke up in Mostar. I'm so glad we came here. This meal looks so good. Tekija. Tekija. Now this is a cool view. My arms and feet, they've immediately tingled. All right, how cool is this? This is so cool. The surprise castle. We're Sammy and Tommy, and we just started our Eastern European road trip. After visiting some amazing places in Croatia, we rented a car and arrived in Mostar. We really enjoy doing walking tours when we first arrive in a new place to learn about the town and history to better appreciate where we are. What's up you guys? So this morning we woke up in Mostar. It's a little rainy, but it's not gonna deter our day. We are running a little late right now to our walking tour. So we are hustling up. Hi for walking tour. This walking tour was very informative and we learned a lot about Mostar's history. Mostar is located in the Herzegovina region of Bosnia and Herzegovina. This town is one of the country's most popular tourist destinations with its cobblestone streets, old stone buildings, and its beautiful bridge, Starry Most. This town is so picturesque and looks like a setting from a fairy tale. Seeing Starry Most, the old bridge, is the highlight here. As you walk the town, you can tell the Ottomans once ruled and you will see all kinds of Turkish influence. Starry Most was a masterpiece when it was built by the Ottomans and has stood for over 400 years. In the Ottoman, they built the old part of the city and the old bridge, the famous bridge. As you walk this beautiful city, you can still see scars from the Bosnian Civil War, which took place in the 1990s. In the last six, seven years, we rebuilt a lot, but look here how it was, the boulevard street Jeez. after the war. Very informative tour. We liked it. The town is beautiful. So picturesque. The little walking street is just like a little mini bazaar, like something out of like Turkish or something like that. You know, it's very cool. And we're just enjoying this beautiful view of Starry Most now, mm -hmm. the famous bridge here. So, oh yeah, a couple things. Starry Most means old bridge. Starry Grad means old town. And Mostar, the name of the town, means guardians of the bridge because that's what they used to call the people who guarded the gates of the bridge when they charged tolls for people to cross it. Time for a beer, I yeah. think. We saw some really big, good looking local draft beers. It was calling our name. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that didn't take long. So the first street we took left on, we saw two guys with some Good size draft beers. And we said sold. sold. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you very much. You got the little girly cup. So. <laughs> Foam. <laughs> Our two beers, these big beers, were only four dollars, and they gave us back. I have my first. My first mark coin, and then we got a euro back because they take Bosnian mark, Croatian kuna, and a euro. So weird. Yeah, you seem like you had rough days, huh? So this is actually hilarious. They have a statue of Bruce Lee here in their park. We learned on our walking tour today that between the Croatians, the Serbians, and the Bosnians, after the war they came together and they were gonna like build a statue of somebody in their government, but they couldn't decide on like who to build the statue of. So they chose Bruce Lee because he was like a humanitarian and he's a neutral symbol. So anyway, statue of Bruce Lee here. <laughs> walk through Old Town and head back to Starry Bridge. Yeah, we want to see those people jump off. It takes 50 euros for them to make the jump. During high season, it is 25. So they just collect from tourists and when they get enough money, they jump.
All right, so it started raining on us a little bit. And my voice is sounding like a frog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were down here at the place where everybody hangs out watching the jumpers jump off the bridge. Okay, they collected enough donations. I even donated. And then he jumped, and I was looking at the ducks. <laughs> I didn't see any of it. But Tommy caught it on camera. Barely, just just caught it. I was just about to zoom in to get the shot, and he jumped a little premature on us. But, you know, <laughs> quick. stuff happens. I thought I had it in the You alright? Yes. Okay. It's just over rotation. Oh yeah. <laughs> A little bit. My arms and feet. They immediately okay. tingled. Now we're gonna go find some authentic Bosnian cuisine. I'm excited. I'm ready for some of that baklava. Hey. Oh, huna, huna. The others are good. Okay. Thank you so much. No. I didn't realize this place was so oh. fancy. So we came here because we heard that the traditional dishes from here are the best. All of these tables up here are reserved, so it might get a little loud and crowded, but we're gonna order the traditional dishes and try them out. To our first Bosnian meal. Okay. One on the top is called the juvac. It's made of a uh, mixed bowl of vegetables and rice. Mixed okay. vegetables and rice. Oh, yummy. It has carrots, tomatoes, peppers, capers, yum. It reminds me of like a, a juicy jambalaya because I'm from the south of Louisiana. If there was like some chicken and sausage in that, that's what it would be. This here is the most popular grilled dish that we have here in Bosnia. It's called the uh -huh. They are actually the meatballs on the grill. Meatballs on the grill. Made of beef, you know. So next up is the Bosnia version of a pita. And it has the grilled meat, the onions, and their eggplant sauce, which looks really good. The meat is really good. I love the sauce. It's a little tangy. Onions give it a little spice. It's delicious. So this one, for example, is called the dolma. Dolma. Which is a stuffed pepper with the minced meat and rice. Okay. okay. This pepper is delicious. The rice is so good with the sour cream. It's just like super mm, yum. Uh, and that's a stuffed onion. Another one is a Bosnian cookie, which is mixed up for bread. Uh, minced meat, eggs, and it's all fried. The Bosnian mm. cookie. Yeah. <laughs> so next up we have the Bosnian cookie. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Let's try it out. It looks like a cookie, but there's no chocolate chips. I don't think it's peanut butter. You know, I don't know. Very juicy, good flavor though. It's good. A meat bread cookie. Yeah. It's not the kind of cookie I'm used to, but I really enjoy it. Last one is Yaprak. Yaprak. It's a stuffed cabbage, green cabbage. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm so glad you came here. This meal looks so good. This is such a huge platter. This whole platter reminds me of just like home cooking, like comfort food. Okay, so we ordered the traditional dessert for Bosnia. It's baklava. I love baklava. I haven't had it in such a long time. Growing up, it was my mom's favorite dessert, and so we would have it. And I'm so excited to dig it. Mm. It's so rich. Those walnuts and like simple sugar syrup. The dough and like a little bit of lemon. So good. You'll love it. All right, we just finished our authentic meal here. It was delicious. Yeah, it was so good. Lots of meat. <laughs> yeah, tons of meat. We definitely need like a salad, light dinner tomorrow. But I think that's it for the day. Yeah, tomorrow we are heading to the waterfall and to a monastery that's supposed to be right outside of town. So tonight we are gonna- Just, just gonna rest? Go get some rest. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
So this morning we are headed to the Kravis Waterfalls. So we're off on a new adventure in our sweet new ride. We're back in our trusty steed, Adam. He's been parked for a day while we explored Mostar, but he's ready to hit the road again. The roads are so small. Hey guys, we have arrived to the waterfall. Let's go, I think we have to go pay. Good morning. Good morning. Eight mark for one person for entrance. Thank you, sir. It's a third of three monies. So I can hear the waterfalls already. And a lot of rain lately, so I'm sure they're gonna be strong, big, and beautiful. Wow. Rain. through the mist to get to the next spot. Enjoying a delicious coffee with this view. It is a great morning. These waterfalls are so strong, it's so cool. So you can see how high the water is. Normally you can walk around this whole area. Water's high and there's nowhere for anyone to go. Looks like it's time to go. <laughs> Sammy's had enough. Just trying to get in some, some sunshine. <laughs> it's a good view. This is so cool. One last peek at the waterfalls. So we are done here at the waterfall. It's time to head to the monastery now. How long a drive is it? Mm, I haven't put it in maps yet, so I'm not sure. We'll put it in maps, and we'll let you know. <laughs> Just make something up, who cares? 30 minutes. 30 minutes is all it takes. God, how great is that? <laughs> Do all these in the same day. Woo! to the famous monastery. I'm not really sure how you pronounce the name. Tekija. 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 But it's just supposed to be a beautiful spot to sit near the river and overlook it and have a drink. So that's what we're going to do. So it's about five euros for us both to get in. So we're going to skip the house and just go have a drink. There, overlooking the house and the wall. Wow, this is really pretty, right? Isn't it crazy that the restaurant's underwater? So you can see the whole restaurant now is underwater on the edge. The water is super high right now.
All right, so we're just sitting down to get some wine, overlooking this beautiful view. Ice cold red wine, but the view is worth it, so we can deal. All right, so Sammy ordered us a fancy cheese tray. I really should stop eating cheese, but I really can't, so. So these cheeses are by far the best we've had yet on our trip. The tomato is so fresh, so good. Um, I've only had two of the cheeses so far, but oh. So good. So good. Okay, we saw some girls out on like a ledge over there, so we're trying to go find it now. But we have no idea what the right way is. You think it's this path? Looks good, right? Yeah, looks good. That was a very inexpensive lunch. I was like worried that we like ordered too big for like just like a light lunch. But it was $13 for two glasses of wine and cheese and bread. That's not bad for being a tourist destination next to like the number one spot to see. Now this is a cool view. All right, so this tiki is a dervish monastery that's over 600 years old. It is super unique and picturesque. It's so cool because it's right at the base of these cliffs and running right by the river. It is stunning. Scene one, take one. Okay, so we did the waterfalls, we did the monastery. Now it's time to find the port. Sammy has a new friend. Guys, we think we're going the right way. You have a right. Oh, but Google Maps says we arrived at the fort. All right, so that's the path to go up, and you can kind of see the fort up there. Looks like you had a wardrobe change. Yeah, I was wearing my sweater and my long sleeve shirts all day. So I kept the apple shirt in the car, in case it got too sweaty today. And I finally needed it at the third stop for our hike. Shortcut, up the switchback, help. Oh. We are on the home stretch. This is so cool. We made it up to the fortress. Guys, after a great day, we're gonna end it here at this beautiful fortress. So out of all the places we went today, my favorite by far was this spot. And it's funny because it's not like the touristy spots to go to. So if you want to do the waterfalls, the monastery, and the fort all in one day, it can be done. Yeah, it's a great day to spend in and around Mostar. 
See you guys in the morning. Travel day two. We are heading to Sarajevo tomorrow. Sarajevo, here we come. Bye.